delle copa e grida alla fine, di lui che sta dentro e eh, arriva lo psicologo per farlo uscire. Questo è, 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 proprio, questo è proprio da rivedere, questo sistema. Allora, io. C'è un figo. Aspetta. Ah! Visto. Siamo con le distanze, giusto? È giusto, è giusto. Voglio allontanare un po' il paraurti anteriore. Dico. Impressioni? Bello, Ok, hi, quick, let's say video, I'll try to, because I said quick earlier, about 10 minutes video, it should have to be about 25 minutes, anyway. So, uh, latest development status on the Nazza boat. Now, I've removed the steel belts, why? Because I always say you guys do not buy cheap China stuff, and guess what? I bought cheap China belts, steel belts. Now what happened? All the steel belts inside the cord were no, all the cord inside steel cord inside the belts were bent. I mean, with the use, they started getting, uh, let's say, a lot of bumps around the polyurethane belt, and uh, you were you were seeing that around the idler, the belt going. You see now they are smooth because we moved back. But well. Keeping the one centimeter width, but we move it back to five uh, fiber glass and uh, rubber. Yes, it's rubber. Anyway, uh, the polyurethane steel belts, they were all like dun 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 Yeah, moving like this around the idlers and also the poleys. So, that was no good. Yes, it printed, but the prints were not that nice, uh, sometimes they skewed, sometimes they, they, they were not good. So, yes, steel belts are good, yes, steel belts do not need to be tensioned heavily as, as those ones, but try not to buy cheap ones. Because, yes, they are the, in, the maybe the uh, correct industrial ones. The ones that you should be using, maybe, maybe. I'm not an expert, I'm just a guy making printers. Awful printers. But, uh, well, maybe if you go for the cheap ones, you go bad. So, what will be happening soon? Uh, since uh, those uh, rolling wheels on the column work it quite good, even if you, you see we've used the ones that we printed ourselves, we molded some wheels and printed more of them with resin, it's cheap, and it worked. And it's good, but it's not enough. Now keep in mind that we are still using uh, steel lead screws with steel nuts. Now. Uh, having this steel over steel contact uh, to, to have it without um, too much friction the steel nuts are quite loose on the nut uh, on the rod sorry on the screw so uh, given that we have four millimeters for uh, each uh, li lift for each ro full rotation. We have only one principle. We have the steel nut which is loose around the, the screw. All those factors, the sum of all those factors, produces a lot of wobbling. Now you can see much of it around here, but if you see, for example, the last print we did and covered here with uh, primer, you can see there is still, it, it's still there, uh, it's quite hard to remove. Now, one of the printers that we have removed successfully this wobbling effect was on this scrappy Prusa i3 we had lying around, of course, it's a clone, uh, it's not the original one. How did we manage to solve it? Well, by using these four principle, oh yeah four principles screws you see there are no um, in, in Italian is called the filetti I don't know the English name anyway those four principles uh, they make a perfect contact even with this very tiny nut and the wobbling over here simply disappeared which is nice we had less over there on this one 
with this one has only two principles this screw and it has very very few wobbling so maybe it seems that the more principles you have yes the more lift you have because when you do a full rotation on those pr uh, on those screws you have still maybe four millimeters or three millimeters i don't remember exactly sorry but you have almost no wobbling now on this one we have still four millimeters lift because it's so huge but maybe it's because it has only one principle and <laughs> the anti-wobbling, uh, I mean, well, you have to make the uh, the bed go up and down with with some guidance. You don't, you cannot make it go move like this, which happened earlier on earlier version of this printer when it, when it had only no uh, only the screw holding them because I uh, I thought uh, at the time it, the, those screws are 20 millimeters wide so they should do the lift part but also like being these uh, steel rods keeping it that in place well i was totally wrong of course and that's why we had wobbling yes we had worse wobbling in the past those little wheels they helped but still it's not enough so i've asked the igus um, industries to um, give us, um, of course, paying yeah? um, the, some Delrin nuts that are quite a tight fit around the screws, and the they also had uh, the the multi principle screws. But uh, you know, <laughs> we are quite uh, short of money, so. You see, we still have no Patreon and no way of fund ourselves, so we are on our low budget, still on our low budget. So, we'll keep the screws, we'll try just using Delrin, not Delrin, uh, which is the material? Iglidur, yeah, they, their own patent um, material. Nuts, and we'll also add vertical. 20 millimeters steel rods with each of them uh, two linear bearings of course always uh, iglidur stuff uh, from igus like we have here on the tads as you can see should be similar this way there will be two of them one uh, one on the upside and one on the downside uh, anyway you you get the picture would be the same here like we did already there but with the uh, uh, typical how they are named uh, well the classical lm20 no 16 that way with the uh, you know steel balls inside rolling all around they're quite noisy but the z axis is so slow to move that it is not an issue at all anyway we will go for the egos because of the precision we need because I don't want to see any more wobbling at all. Also, one thing that we will do is make my uh, go, gonna buy some laser cut or water jet cut plate, aluminum plates that will replace all those old uh, carriages. You see, we I still have the old ones that use uh, the, the V wheels on the on the edges of those uh, profi um, profiles and uh, I simply put uh, some sliders for those uh, guides, liner guides over here, Igos stuff again and uh, I will replace these open build um, X axis with a uh, Igos one with all the plates, all the glitter stuff etc etc and everything should be going just fine now for maybe this could interest you too uh, something we are trying to do on those other printers that we have lying around uh, even those marine cosplay that i hope will be ready soon nice stuff uh, we're trying to do the z move with the belt like the x and y now um, 
it's quite nice, I must say, because uh, we were thinking that with the motors unpowered, the, uh, the weight of the bed would move, you see, the bed up and down if it is not powered, if it's not holding the torque. And guess what? It holds anyway, not because there is friction around here, but maybe just because if I move the, um, the bed, the two motors try to, you know, move quite much. And since uh, they are, you see, we are just using these uh, cheap ramps board with Arduino clone and uh, it works. Just simply plugging them in is quite enough to avoid it moving up and down. So guess what, when they're powered up. Now, uh, it's quite simple. If you've seen a building crane, uh, you see that they have plenty of those uh, belts on, well, you don't have the upper side, the, the downside, you only have the upside on a building crane, and you have plenty of those, and not just maybe two, you have four, eight of them all moving around, because it works on the principle that, for example, uh, we have, you see, uh, two, I don't know the English word for rimandi, anyway, that's the Italian one. Let's say that if I pull one centimeter here, I pull um, one twenty-fifth of a centimeter here, one here, one here, one here. So I have, let's say, one over four micro stepping, let's say, added, I mean, a four times the precision with those two side kinds of the belt. Um, the, the, I mean, those two Marimandi, I don't get the English name, sorry. If, uh, if I get the word, I will put it down on the subtitles. If I add one more of those bearings here, of those idlers here, I will have, uh, um, with only one, I have half the weight, so double precision. If I have two like I have now, I will have one fourth of the weight, so half of the half of the weight. If I add a, a third one here, a third idler, I won't have one eight, I mean, always dividing by two. I will have one sixth to, uh, to achieve one eighth of, uh, of the weight. I will need to have a fourth one. But anyway, you get the picture already. It's easy. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm using one motor here and there is a specular array over there. Now, the belts here, they are loose because uh, we still have to put the bearings on that. And as you can see, it's still on the testing side. I mean, they are not the definitive pieces. Uh, I th I'll try also to get an aluminum plate here to better bolt everything down and have a stiffer, you know, chassis. And by using motors instead of the screws, you totally say goodbye to wobbling, uh, wobbling because it's something that is screw related. If you remove the screw, if you just use a one motor, there you go, it works. And I will say that again, the more idlers the m you put on for each side, I mean, uh, we have uh, t uh, two couples here, and you will need these uh, these downside belts also because uh, it's not like a building crane where you only need those one because you have loose chain or cord or whatever. On one side there is a a big uh, coil for the steel cable that goes down to the crane, but doesn't mind anyway. You will have on on three D printers the belt that needs to be tensioned and the other the only way to keep the tension is simply to uh, have it down here all the belt that you pull from here or if you push from here you will have to pull from here so you, you will have only always the same length thus keeping tension so it's quite easy if you want to try it yourself you see you start with one end of the cord, you see, from the far side, okay? You move it up to the bed, down again to the chassis to one idler. Then you go to one other idler, up to one idler of the bed, and then again, one idler to the chassis. 
you could go again adding and then when you're okay you just move up 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 to the motor if you want you could add another idler here and instead of going here you could go for example here maybe another idler here the motor another idler idler and down there but is why adding it all those idlers you don't need them just add the motor here and you will go just fine okay that's my father is the engineer say hello okay so uh, should be everything uh, for now yes we've cleaned all the place also because it was totally a mess and maybe we'll add uh, another one of those maybe till next time bye bye <laughs>